1949. It's a date which marks one of the great sporting tragedies of the 20th century. In driving rain and zero visibility, a plane carrying the pride of Italy, players from the invincible FC Torino club crashed into the back of this cathedral in Superga, Turin. None of them survived. For those old enough to remember that cold, fateful day, it's a memory they'll never forget. I remember I was seven at the time and uh, I was with my grandmother who was struggling to get me to bed and uh, somebody was at the door and the woman would have known, wouldn't have known whether the ball was square or round. And she said, Flora, Flora, you know what happened? Uh, the Torino squad has died in Super. They were known as Il Grande Torino. They were simply the best team in Italy at the time. Captain and striker Valentino Mazzola led his men to four league titles from 1945 to 1948. Torino's domination of Italian football was a source of joy for a nation still reeling from the horrors of World War II. To the populace, they were much more than a successful sporting team. They were a symbol of hope and rebirth. Ten Italian internationals were killed in the crash. The tragedy, inevitably, had a huge bearing on the nation's World Cup fortunes. It took Italy eight years to recover. The new breed of players knocked out in the first round of the 1950 and 1954 World Cups, while the Italians failed to qualify for the first and only time in 1958. The world will never learn what loftier heights the 18 players from FC Torino could have achieved if they hadn't boarded that doomed flight from Lisbon. For those who were lucky enough to see them, there is only one way to describe the men from Grande Torino. Super. Robert Grasso, SBS Sport.